overwhelmingly when certain people in certain hoods are killed. And I don't, I'm never making a blanket statement. People think I look scary because I got a beard and a bunch of tattoos. So I never think, I don't want that old little white lady to think I'm going to rob her. I actually might be protecting her, you know. So I never make a blanket statement. But unfortunately, a lot of times, and then when it's splashed on the media, and then, okay, there's, there's no way on earth that somebody gets choked to death for cigarettes. Like, that's bullshit. And nobody gets charged. That's bullshit. So that develops, that fosters the, the distrust in our community where there should be bridges. And the way that you fix that is by maintaining a standard and holding people accountable. I'm for accountability on all sides. If you're fucking up in my hood, you cannot, don't be here. If you're doing dumb shit on my block, I'm gonna tell you, yo, you can't be here. That's dumb shit. Stop or get the fuck out of here, one or the other. There needs to be that same level of accountability because the police are supposed to serve the people. I do not work for you. You work for me. The government does, I do not work for the government. The government works for me. Period. And that's across the board. And that's the standard that we got to hold on to. Sometimes, I don't know, motherfuckers got away from that. Like, you know what I mean? That's the reason why this whole system of checks and balances, you know, fucking free Second Amendment. That's the reason why this is here. Limited government. We just giving them passes and citizens is getting murdered. And a lot of white citizens are getting murdered. So at what point, what fucking part of the game is that? Like, when are we not going to say, this isn't cool and this, there needs to be accountability? Are there scumbags in the hood? Are there scumbags in suburbia? Hell yeah. Grab them, find them, lock them under the fucking jail. But there's no reason that uh, this, this, this kid shoots up a whole church of people and get fucking taken alive and then get taken to Burger King. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So clearly there's some sort of difference. And that part is how, you know... You know, you can, you, and I, that's not something that I can fix because I got to side with the hood on that truth. You know, dude yesterday got shot because his car was stalled after he got tased. Like, nah, I can't rock with that. What I can say is, I think in that case, I think that young lady, that officer that shot, I think she heard the first officer to pop from his taser. She reacted. She popped him. You still should be charged. Somebody's dead. You know, but when that balance is corrected, then we'll start to see better, you know, community police relations.